The parents of a young woman from Bournemouth who died from a rare condition are raising awareness in her memory. Uh, Amber Walker died from SUDEP, which affects one in a thousand people who've been diagnosed with epilepsy. Her family want more people to be aware of the risks. Here's Harry Acton. I love this one, though. A book of poems and messages for someone who lived every day to the full. Amber Walker touched on so many lives, refusing to let her epilepsy diagnosis hold her back. She was diagnosed when she was a teenager and for many years, with the help of her parents, managed her condition. But at the age of 22, she died without warning, due to her epilepsy. I think she managed amazingly. You know, you underestimate how difficult it must have been for her. And I think she did struggle, but she did incredibly well. And she kept, she worked, she had good humour, uh, she made us laugh a lot. She drove us nuts as well, but um, she coped with it pretty well. I think the one thing we weren't ever prepared for was the fact that someone could suddenly die. Amber died from a phenomenon known as SUDEP, which is the sudden unexpected death of someone with epilepsy who was previously well and where the post-mortem cannot find another cause of death. It affects around one in every thousand people diagnosed with epilepsy, yet many are unaware. We'd never even heard of it. I mean, we'd, we'd been in the, the system since she was 12 years old to when she died at 22. Not one clinician had ever mentioned Suda. And it happened, she died when we were away in Australia, which was really harsh for us. I mean, it's harsh anyway. But it was, yeah, I mean, it's an otherworldly pain to have that happen to you. And that so, was actually the first time we'd ever left her. Yeah. We left her with her brother and sister, who, who were all well aware of how to deal with the seizure. Amanda and Martin believe more awareness is needed of the condition to prevent other families suffering the loss that they have. They are supporting SUDEP Action in its mission to prevent as many deaths as possible. Because we know that many epilepsy deaths are preventable, there's a lot of steps that we can take to try and help people live as safely as possible with their epilepsy. And that's what we really want to try and get across. So things like getting as best seizure control as you can, taking your medication regularly and reliably, making sure you're on the best medication for you. They're all things that can really help, but also just knowing about the risks. You think that it's, it sounds a cliche, you think it's never gonna happen to you. And then it's why, why did it happen to us? And then you think, well, actually, it's not just us, why not us? But the, the pain is just, yeah, indescribable. It, it's otherworldly. It's... It just leaves a massive hole. It's a shock. Sudden death is a yeah. shock. But in a, in a youngster with so much life to live and so much talent, so much to give the world, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. Especially, especially when we know things might have turned out It could have been different. And she still could be here. So this is why kind of trying to raise awareness about SUDEP is, is really important to us. She could have still been here causing chaos. Yeah. If someone yeah. had talked about SUDEP. If someone yes. had talked about it. Harry Acton, ITV News.